Hey guys, I'm Alan and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing an acoustic guitar tutorial over God So Loved by We The Kingdom. Uh, this is a pretty easy song with a repetitive chord progression, so it should be a pretty short video. You guys should be playing this in no time. It's going to be in the key of B flat, so we'll put a capo on the third fret just to match that original uh, recording. And chords are going to be on the screen throughout the video, but if you do want a chord chart that has like the lyrics and all the sections labeled that you can look at the whole thing, that'll be available over on Patreon. Also, I'll be making a cover video of me playing this guitar part through the entire song, so be on the lookout for that. And for this song, we're going to need eight chords. Those chords are G, D suspended over F sharp, E minor 7, C add 9, G over B, D over F sharp, G over D, and D. If you already feel comfortable with those, feel free to jump ahead to the timestamp on the screen. If not, let's stick around and I'll show you how to do each one of those. So for the G chord, we're going to put our first finger on the second fret of the A string up from the capo middle finger on the third fret of the E, ring finger on the third fret of the B string, and the pinky on the uh, third fret of the E. And don't really push down with this first finger, just kind of lightly rest it there just to mute that A string. We'll strum all the strings. Then for D suspended over F sharp, go ahead and leave the ring finger and pinky where they were. And then we're going to put the uh, first finger on the second fret of the G string, and probably go ahead and use that thumb to fret this second fret of the low E. We'll strum everything. E minor 7, again, still leave these two fingers planted there on the B and E strings. Let's put the first finger on the second fret of the A and the middle finger on the second fret of the D. We'll strum everything. C add 9, let's kind of mute the uh, second fret of the D string with the first finger, just lightly rest it there. And then we'll put the middle finger on the second fret, or third fret of the A string. And we'll strum from the A string down. G over B, still leave these two fingers planted, and then we'll put the first finger on the second fret of the A string, and we're going to strum from the A string down. D over F sharp is pretty similar to our D suspended over F sharp, so we're going to play a D chord here, and then we'll fret this F sharp, low E second fret with the thumb. We'll strum everything. G over D, let's probably go ahead and uh, just fret the third fret of the E, and then we're going to strum from the D string down. Then the D chord, uh, <laughs> that one's pretty straightforward, put the first finger on the second fret of the G, middle finger on the second fret of the E, and the ring finger on the third fret of the B. We'll strum from the D string down. Those are all the chords you need for this entire song. Let's go over the intro. So here's what the intro sounds like. One, two, three, four. So the only thing that's maybe a little tough about that is the strumming pattern if you're not real comfortable with um, strumming patterns. So we're going to start off on a G chord. And our strumming pattern, we're going to strum down. Then we'll go down, up, up, up. So three up strums. Down, down, up, up, up. Then after that, we'll go up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So if we put all that together, it's like down, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Suspend it over F sharp and do the same strumming pattern. E minor 7, same thing. C add 9, same thing. And that's really all for the intro. And there's also a little interlude kind of that happens after the first chorus. Again, just play that exact same thing with the same strumming pattern. On the verses, we're going to play the same chord progression, but our strumming pattern is going to be a little bit different. So here's what the uh, verse sounds like. One, two, three, four.
So let's go ahead and go over that strumming pattern. So we're going to start off on a G chord, and our strumming pattern we're going to strum down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Up. That again, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. We'll go to D suspended over F sharp, do the same strumming pattern. Down, up, 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 down, So you guys get the idea there. It's just continuing that same chord progression and just doing that strumming pattern as well. So we're going to do that for uh, the first verse. And then also for the second verse will be kind of the same uh, chord progression and strumming pattern. And even the chorus is going to do the same thing. So I don't think we'll go over the chorus, just play that exact same thing on the chorus. Let's go over the bridge. And this part's going to be a little bit different. I'll just run through it once first, and then we'll kind of go through it together. So it sounds like this. We're going to start off on a G over B chord. One, two, three. Build. So even though this part's different, it's still pretty easy. So we're going to start off on a G over B chord, and we'll just let this ring out for four beats, kind of one, two, three, four. C at nine for four beats. One, two, three, four to G for four beats. Two, three, four D over F sharp. Two, three, four back to G over B. Two, three, four. C at nine. Two, three, four then G. Two, three, four then D. One, two, three, four. Then this next time through, we're going to go ahead and switch to eighth notes. So we're just basically strumming down one and two and three and four and we'll go to C add nine, one and two and three and four and G over D, one and two and three and four and D over F sharp, one and two and three and four and back to G over B. C add nine, just keep on going. E minor seven. D we're going to do for two measures. And that's really all for the bridge. And let's jump to the outro. So for this part, we're going to basically strum our same chord progression, G, D suspended over F sharp, E minor 7, C add 9. And we're just going to strum each chord one time and just kind of let them ring for two measures. So let's go ahead and go through that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. D suspended over F sharp. Two, three, four. One, two, three. 4 E minor 7, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, C add 9, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's really it for the outro. So this might be the shortest tutorial video that I've ever made, but hopefully that gives you guys some ideas of ways you can play these chords and also some ideas for strumming patterns. So really cool song, uh, pretty simple to play, but it's a really nice song with an awesome message <laughs> as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, just be sure to hit the like button for me. That just helps this video reach more people. You can also subscribe as well if you're new here. I do put out uh, acoustic guitar tutorials, electric guitar tutorials, and uh, piano tutorials, and gear reviews also. So if you're new here, you might enjoy those other videos, so be sure to stick around. You can also hit the notification bell if you want to be sure you don't miss anything. And don't forget that chord chart is available over on Patreon if you want uh, something to kind of print off and follow along with. So thanks again. We'll see you guys in the next one.